Hello everyone, this is Shudipto from Technical Potpori. So today I'll be talking about a very new feature from JavaScript and it's called Knowledge Coalescing Operator. So without any further delay, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to understand, what is this Knowledge Coalescing Operator all about? So it is basically a logical operator that returns its right-hand side operand when its left-hand side is null or undefined. So it's basically comparing the right-hand side with the left-hand side, and if the left-hand side is null or undefined, then it will return the right-hand side. Here I have specifically marked null and undefined red because there is a reason behind, and we will explore that reason in the next slide. So now when we have this knowledge coercion operator, the obvious question that is coming to our mind is that is it really different from the logical OR operator? And the answer is yes. So what are the differences? So the difference is that on the left hand side I have the logical coercing operator and on the right hand side I have the logical OR operator. So logical coercing operator only consider the left hand side when the left hand side value is null or undefined. Whereas the logical OR operator considers any falsy value which includes null, undefined, zero, nan, anything, any falsy value in the left hand side. So that's the biggest difference between these two operator. So let's see some example. So in the first one, I'm comparing zero. Uh, if it is zero, then yes, null, yes, undefined, yes. And on the right hand side, I'm using the same one with the logical uh, logical uh, OR operator, right? So any guesses, what can be the output? So here is the output. As you can see, when the left hand side value is null, it is giving me the right hand side operator, irrespective of whether I'm using the knowledge coercing operator or the logical operator, as you can see on the line number two. On the line number three, it's exactly the same. If the left hand side value is undefined, it will always give me the right hand side value, which is yes in both the cases. So the difference is only on the line number one. In the line number one, when the left hand, left hand side value is zero, the knowledge coercing operator is returning me the left hand side value, which is zero. But when I'm using the logical OR operator, zero is considered as a falsy value. That's why it is returning me the right hand side value, which is yes. So that's the biggest difference between the knowledge coercing operator and the logical OR operator. With that, it's time for some real world demo. So I've written this very basic uh, JavaScript code where I have one function called function return charge amount, and then I'm calling this function. Basically what I'm trying to achieve here is like, you know, I'm calling a function which is trying to give me, uh, return me the amount of charge left on my phone. And if it is, you know, uh, if it is returning some values, which is like, you know, uh, uh, which is not a number, right? Then I'm, 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 ex I'm thinking like, you know, my battery is probably not working and I need to replace the battery, right? This is a function which, which is supposed to return the, uh, my remaining charge amount. And then what I'm calling, what I'm doing is that I'm calling this function. And if the value is like, you know, something, uh, I'll either paste that value here or the message remaining charge is 10. Then what I'm getting is that uh, this function is returning 10. So 10 is not a false value. So the message is also having 10 and it's getting printed here. So what if my value is zero? If my value is zero, I am getting a message that battery is not operating, but that's not true, right? Charge amount zero means like, you know, battery is still working. We just need to plug it in and, you know, charge it so that it will start working. In this type of situations, this logical OR operator, uh, every time it finds zero here, what it will do, it will consider this as a falsy value. And what it will do, it will uh, rather print the right hand side. Now, this is a problem because our battery is not uh, supposed to be replaced now. This is a situation which can be handled through this knowledge coercing operator. So what I can do if I put this, then what I'm getting is that instead of this one, I'm getting zero because here 
zero, uh, knowledge coopersing operator will not consider zero as a false value. Now, if I put null, so the reason is that is like, you know, my battery is really, really, you know, gone. It's not uh, responding to my function and it's not returning me the charge amount. So this is a perfect scenario where I want the message that battery is supposed to be replaced or battery is not operate, operating. So now if I execute, I'm getting this message. Similarly, if it's returning undefined, I'll get the message. But if I'm getting zero, zero is not a indicator that battery is gone. Zero is just the indicator that battery is not charged. So we need to plug it in and charge the battery. So this is the difference between uh, these two function. With that, we have come to an end. If you like this video, please share and hit the like icon. And also please subscribe to my channel to get update about all my upcoming videos. Till then, thank you. Goodbye.